If you turn on the TV, you will travel into a dimension of cameras, computers, and microphones. A dimension of cameramen, editors, and reporters. This dimension is called FLTV. Hi, I'm Canyon. And I'm Reese. And, and we're, we're with FLTV. FLTV. Let's start our last broadcast with the story that will get you moving. <laughs> Hi, I'm McKenna for FLTV, and we interviewed our peers what their favorite dance move was and if they could perform for us. What are the hippest dance moves of 2015 through 2016? Um, probably like the dab. Um, the whip, dab, nay nay, and a uh, running man challenge. Dee Brown, NBA basketball player, was an original inventor of the dab. In 1991, there was a slam dunk contest as well as he was doing the dab. What's your favorite? Um, I don't know, probably the dab. I think the running man. It's bringing it back from the old days. The dab. I hate the dab. Jackson Smith ruined the dab for me in my class. The whip and the nay nay. Can't stand it. Sixth graders do it constantly walking down the hall. It drives me nuts. I'm in the middle of talking. All I see just, I can't stand that. It's driving me insane. So those those are out. I love the running man, but Jackson's close to ruining that too. Uh, running man tell. The whip, nay nay, dab, and the running man challenge are now the most famous dance moves of the century. It's so bad. Oh! How famous are these? Pretty famous. Um, I see everyone doing them, especially Kyle Driscoll. Really famous, like really, really famous, you know. Now we know that the whip, the running man challenge, and the dab are the most famous and back in style. For FLTV, I'm McKenna signing off. <laughs>
tripped and you dropped your salad everywhere. Um, at Pally, my counselor fell in a puddle and her weed fell out. Why do you find both of these things embarrassing? Because when my iPad cracked, everybody was asking me why I had it cracked and also it was kind of funny to see the lemonade splash over someone. Um, because you screwed up in front of other people. <laughs> because I didn't know any of the eighth graders and it was just really funny because it was in front of everybody. Wow, those were some embarrassing moments. Well, I'm Brooke and signing off. Reese, this next story doesn't apply to me at all. I'm already cool enough. Whatever. Let's see how we should stay cool for the summer. Summer's right around the corner, and here in the valley, it gets pretty hot. Hi, I'm Matthew, and I run around asking school what you do to stay cool. There are many different ways to stay cool during the summer. Students tell us different ways to stay cool during the summer. By going swimming or just staying inside and playing. I like to go swimming. I use a fan. We ask students what they drink to stay cool. Drink water. Um, either water or lemonade. Water. I'm Matthew, back to in the studio. Stay cool. Thanks for those cool tips, Matthew. As the year comes to an end, we heard that the eighth graders will be going on a wet and wild trip. So let's give it over to Colin and Riley to hear more about the upcoming wet and wild trip. Hi, I'm Colin from FLTV. In one week, the eighth graders will be taking a trip to wet and wild, also including a breakfast at Red Rock beforehand. Let's go see what eighth graders are excited for wet and wild. Due to some students planning on skipping out on the trip, the trip was in jeopardy for a little bit, but now we're glad to know that it's back on. Are you excited to be going to wet and wild? Yes, I'm very excited. Yes. What are you most excited for about the day? Um, swimming and eating food. <laughs> going in and hanging out with all my friends. I like you. Have you ever been to Wet n Wild? Um, yeah. Yes. Well, it was good to hear about all the opinions on the students for the Wet n Wild trip. Now let's send it over to Riley up in the front office. Thanks, Colin. I'm Riley from FLTV. I'm here in the front office to catch a special interview with Miss Harper to see how the Wet n Wild trip came about. How did you come up with this idea? Well, I can't take credit for it. I didn't come up with it. Um, middle School Student Council came up with it uh, a couple years ago to try to have a end of the year celebration for eighth graders. Before we go to Wet n Wild, the eighth graders will be going to the Red Rock Buffet to get a nice brunch before on students skipping the trip? Well, my opinion is I wish they wouldn't. Um, uh, certainly, you know, there are all kinds of circumstances for, for which, you know, students may not be able to. Um, do you plan to keep this trip going for years to come? Well, we plan to do something. Um, you know, we always, we kind of, you know, we work with the student council kids. Since we figured out all the inside information on this trip, all you 8th graders go have some fun on June 2nd. I can't wait to go next year. Uh, kids today is pretty smart, some don't even care. Hi, I'm Kyle with FLTV. Have you ever wondered what teachers do after school or even during the weekends? If so, let's go around and ask students and see if they know what teachers do, and let's go and see if teachers do during their beer. Do you think teachers have an outside life? Yes. What do they do? work and hang out with teachers. Do you, think your te do you think your teachers do the same activities as you do? No. What activities do you do? I do sports and hang out with friends. I think personally that teachers do have some interesting lives out around their house or even at home. Now let's see what students think if teachers have interesting lives. Do you think they are popular in their own way? Maybe. What do you do outside of school? Um, I do all kinds of different stuff. I love to like serve at church, I hang out with my wife, my friends, um, hike, all kinds of different things. I like to cook. If we're looking at my free time as far as when I get home, I'm usually watching Gilmore Girls. If we're looking at time I spend, you know, outside of school, I really like to spend time in nature. I like to go camping 
And I don't mean that kind of camping where you have a motor home and, and plumbing and a pool. I'm talking me and a tent, okay? And I learn to survive. Wow, some teachers do have some interesting and some pretty cool lives. Now let's take it back to the studio. Hello, I'm Ben the Weatherman. On the 27th, which is Friday, it's going to be sunny with a high of 89 and a low of 67. On Saturday, which is the 28th, it is a high of 89 and a low of 66. It will also be sunny. On the 29th, which is Sunday, it will be cloudy nine with a 90 high and a 68 low. On, th on the 30th, which is on Monday, it will be a high of 90 and a low of 69. It will be sunny. On the 31st, which is Tuesday, it will be a high of 92 and a low of 73. It will be have a lot of sunshine. As you can tell, this is going to be very nice weather this week. I'm Ben. See you in finals week. We would just like to thank our whole staff and our amazing teacher, Ms. Gravett. This was one great year. I'm Canyon. And I'm Reese. Signing, Signing off. Stay holy. And stay cool.